A robotic arm moves into position in a testing facility that simulates the inside of a tank filled with the most hazardous nuclear waste. It vacuums up the waste just like a carpet cleaner in your home. The original vacuum pump system wasn't working that well until a bright batch of scientists at Columbia Energy borrowed some technology that's used in your carburetor. And the basis that we're using here on the end of the arm is a gold dredge eductor type system, which uses a flow of water to create a localized vacuum to actually retrieve the waste. The high pressure jets have plenty of power to break up even the toughest waste. Waste is then deposited into a newer, safer tank. Almost all of the water is vacuumed right up along with the waste and recirculated to clean over and over again. From a safe distance away, the workers can operate the robotic arm with a laptop. In the past year, about $3 million from the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act has funded this research and created several new jobs. The final step is taking the robot from the test to the tanks. It's going to be used in the aging single-shell tanks that are assumed to have leaked in the past. By the year 2012, it's going to be cleaning out tank C-101 followed by C-105. They both hold 220,000 gallons of sludge.